World Robotics Conference is a big deal in the tech world. Think of it as the Oscars for Robotics. Held every year in Beijing, it is the site of the latest and greatest in robotics technology. This year, the conference was bigger and better than ever, attracting 169 exhibitors from around the world and showcasing more than 600 innovative products. And here's the kicker. A record 27 humanoid robots were introduced this year. Yes, humanoid robots are taking center stage in robotics, and the hype is real. So why the fuss about humanoid robots? There is growing interest in how artificial intelligence can be integrated into robots that look and move like humans. These are not the standard robots you see in factories. They are androids designed to interact with us as humans in a more natural way. The idea is that these robots could eventually perform tasks as well or even better than humans. And it's not just about exchanging people. It's about working with us, especially in environments that are dangerous or require hard work. A great example from the conference is the Unitary G1, which is a bipedal humanoid robot, about 1.3 meters tall and weighing around 35 kilograms. It has a sleek, futuristic look and is packed with some pretty advanced technology. The Unitary G1 can move at 2 meters per second and has advanced three-handed finger force control, meaning it can manipulate objects with finesse and precision. It also has a maximum knee joint torque of 120 Newton meters, so it's pretty strong for its size. What really sets the Unitary G1 apart is its robot, a unified large model, which is a fancy way of saying it has a robust AI system that allows it to constantly learn and improve its skills. This model was launched this year and is already making waves. The price is around 99,000 yuan, which is about 13,874 US dollars. It's actually quite affordable considering its advanced capabilities. According to Huang Jiawei, Unitree's marketing director, this robot isn't just designed to look impressive, it's built to be highly functional in various practical applications. This is why it is already accepted by many laboratories and companies. At the Shenzhen-based UbiTech Robotics Conference, it demonstrated some of its robots that are currently being deployed on automotive production lines. These robots aren't just for show. They do the real work, smart shipping, quality control, and even chemical handling. According to Greg G, head of UB Tech, a motion control algorithm for humanoid robots, this is a big step forward for the widespread use of humanoid robots in manufacturing. The team and their robots currently operate at around 20% human efficiency. It may not sound very impressive at first glance, but it is true. They expect to reach almost 100% efficiency within the next one to two years. And remember that robots can work 24 seven without breaks. This means that their overall efficiency could soon surpass that of human workers. The integration of artificial intelligence models has accelerated the development of humanoid robots. As G mentioned, we are looking at a future where robots and humans will work side by side more often especially in environments that are risky or require challenging tasks. Essentially robots that can help you lift heavy loads or perform tasks that are too dangerous for a human. That's the direction we're going and it's pretty exciting. Another highlight of the conference was Tian Gong, an embodied AI robot. What does embodied AI mean now? Simply put, it's AI with a physical form. AI that doesn't just exist in the cloud or on a server somewhere, but is integrated into a robot that can interact with the physical world. Chiang Gong was a big hit at the event as he showed off some pretty advanced skills. It could engage in conversation, respond to voice commands, and even grasp and place objects in designated locations. Qi Jiping, team leader of the Beijing Embodied Artificial Intelligence Robotics Innovation Center, explained that embodied artificial intelligence helps bridge the gap between the digital and physical worlds. Just think about it. AI that can move on its own and intelligently interact with its surroundings opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Imagine going to a concert and having a humanoid robot guide you to your seat, bring you your favorite snacks, or even help you navigate the crowd. That's the kind of embodied AI future he's aiming for, and the Tengong robot is a big step toward making that vision a reality. Other impressive presentations at the World Robotics Conference 2024 in Beijing included a 10-cent four-legged robot dog. Now, if you've ever seen a robotic dog, you might be thinking, 
Okay, big deal. But this is on a whole other level. Not only does it walk, it can run, jump, and even do flips. It's super agile and could go where a human or even a regular robot can't. Then we got Alibaba's new logistics robot. Logistics may not sound very exciting at first, but this robot is designed for last mile delivery, which is a huge challenge in the world of e-commerce. It's like your own little autonomous delivery man that can navigate complex urban environments without any human intervention. Then there was a robot that completely captivated the audience. A robot that can play the Chinese dulcimer and not just play a simple tune. It learned to play this complex instrument in just two to three days, which is crazy. This kind of skill acquisition shows how far AI learning has come. Got a robot that truly blurs the lines between man and machine. A humanoid robot that mimics human facial expressions in real time. It is designed to look like a young man and can perfectly replicate the facial expression of his partner. Now we must not forget the medical sector. There have been several presentations of advanced medical robots that are designed for surgical precision and use AI to assist in surgery can significantly reduce the room for human error and improve patient outcomes. Agriculture also fell in love with field robots at the conference. Literally, these agricultural robots are able to perform tasks such as planting, weeding, and harvesting, which could significantly reduce labor costs and increase efficiency on farms. We are talking about robots that could help solve food security by optimizing agricultural processes. Now this next one is pretty interesting. Wissen Technology demonstrated its innovative, flexible robotic arms. Instead of the usual motors, these arms use printed plastics and pneumatic artificial muscles, making them much cheaper to manufacture, such as one-tenth the cost of traditional robotic arms. This could make high-quality robotics technology available to many other industries. And then there's the lightweight robotic walker from UB Tech Robotics. It is an industrial humanoid robot that already works in car factories. It helps with everything from quality testing to sorting parts working right alongside human workers to increase efficiency on the production line. And finally, we've seen the debut of the Blue Book on Robots, a comprehensive report that takes a deep dive into China's robotics industry and its potential. Something of a roadmap to the future of robotics outlining development trends and opportunities for anyone interested in the business side of robotics. This is a must read. Now, while incredible progress has been made, there are still challenges to overcome in the robotics industry. For example, at the conference, Yi Gang, founder of the Shanghai-based T5 robot, pointed out some of the problems in the current robotic supply chain. Product reliability is actually one of the biggest issues due to the high error rate. Companies like his can only produce 1,000 units at a time. And let's not forget key components like harmonic gears, which are key to motion control in robots, but still face quality and reliability issues. Even with Wissen technology, another player in the robotics field is doing something quite unique. For their robotic arms, they use 3D printed plastics and pneumatic artificial muscles instead of traditional motors and reducers. This makes their robots much cheaper to manufacture, around 110 the cost of traditional robotic arms, which could be a game changer for affordability in the industry, according to Chow Wei of the startups that invested in WISN. These flexible robotic arms could potentially be used in humanoid robots in the future. But in any case, China is pushing hard to become a global leader in this field, as Marina Bill, president of the International Federation of Robotics mentioned. China's manufacturing capabilities and supply chain strength are really hard to match, even for some of the most developed countries. Great emphasis is also placed on the development of new production forces in technology. As Premier Li Qiang pointed out, the robotics industry has broad prospects and huge market potential. The government is calling for efforts to support the spread and popularization of robots across various fields, industry, agriculture, and even services. Artificial intelligence essentially kicked off the iPhone moment for humanoid robots. Think about it. Just as the iPhone revolutionized the smartphone industry, artificial intelligence is set to revolutionize robotics. We are getting closer than ever to realizing the dream of fully integrated humanoid robots. The plan is to have a production capacity of more than 10,000 AI robots by the end of 2026, 
According to Kong Lei of the Administrative Committee of the Economic Technological Development Zone in Beijing, a rather ambitious goal, but given the rapid pace of development we are witnessing, it seems be entirely possible. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.